Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the WMV cord that DLL is missing error you might be getting on your Windows computer. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the media feature pack that should hopefully resolve this issue. Now there will be a different version depending on what version of Windows you are running. I will have links in the description for each version of Windows that you are using. So if you're using Windows 7, your download will be a little bit different, but the steps in this tutorial will be nearly, if not identical, for all operating systems. So this happens to be a Windows 10 machine, and that is the download we're going to be selecting today. So I've already opened up the web page of the Windows 10 download. And on the page it says Media Feature Pack for N and KN versions of Windows 10. You want to make sure the language is correct. And like I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure you're downloading it for the correct version of Windows. Very important. So once you've ensured the language is correct, you can proceed to left click on this orange download button. It might be different depending on when you're watching this video, but at the time of this recording it is an orange button. It's going to ask to choose the downloads you want. So I'm running a 32-bit operating system, and there are ways that you can find out what version, if it's a 32 or 64-bit version of Windows. It's very easy to find out. I have posted videos in the past of how to do it, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time in this video. But I'm going to select the first one because I'm assuming this is a 32-bit download, because the second download here says times 64, meaning 64-bit. So I'm going to select the first one here. And then I'm going to select the next button. It's going to ask what you want to do with this file. It should have a .msu at the end. And you want to make sure you're downloading it from Microsoft's website as well. I want to stress that. So we're going to proceed to save the file. If you're running a different browser, it might give you an option just to run it. So you can do that as well. But because I'm using Microsoft Edge here, I have to save the file first. and it should say it finished downloading. I'm going to open it and at this point I can also close out of our web browser because it is no longer necessary. We're going to get a little pop-up saying Windows Update Standalone Installer. Do you wish to install the following Windows Software Update? It should say Feature Pack for Windows. I want to select Yes here and this will take a moment so just be patient. It's going to say read these license terms. I'm going to accept once you've looked through the end user license agreement, which is pretty small here, not too much to look through anyway. So I'm going to accept that. It will take a moment to install, so just be patient. And once it's done, it should say installation complete. So at this point, you're good to go. I'd recommend closing out of this window. And then I'd also recommend you restart your computer and your problem should hopefully have been resolved at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.